Hello my fellow freedom builders and welcome to Building Freedom. My name is Hans Nielsen and I am your guide here on this channel into building a good and solid financial future. Today we are going to look at my screen and we're going to look at TradingView. As you might recall a couple of weeks ago I made a little video about my favorite tool when analyzing stock charts. It's called TradingView and they have this amazing free version of their software. Uh, if you want the, the free version, just press the link below uh, in, in the description of the video. If at some point you should find out that the free version is not enough and you choose an upgrade to a paid version, uh, I'm getting a little kickback. So the link down here is an affiliate link. Good. Let's have a look at this amazing tool. Today we're going to look at their stock screener. And I can't see that. I just have to get my screen a bit up here so you can... Uh, see it all. Got. Now, when you're looking at stocks, there are about a gazillion different stocks and how do you find the right ones? Well, I am a firm believer in having a good and solid and tested method. So let's just assume that we already have this one and that we just want to find some stocks in this huge stock universe. Um, we are going to need this stock screener. And believe me, in my career since 1987, uh, when I started investing, I have seen a ton of different stock screeners and they are mostly very expensive. And some of them, most of them are not even as good as this one from TradingView. So in when you're in the, the, uh, the platform here, you just push the stock screener down here. And let me just enlarge this because we're not going to use the, the, uh, the chart right now. First of all, let me give you a little detail. Over here, you can see we have a, a little icon saying watch lists. And in here, I have put a lot of different uh, watch lists and I am going to create a new list right now. Create new list and we're going to use that in a second. And I am going to call it building freedom test portfolio. Portfolio. Here we go. We save that one. And uh, we have an empty space here right now. I'm going to minimize this, but we are going to use it in a second. Now, right now, I have chosen the US market. And you can see we have 6,926 different matches, uh, meaning that, that that is all the US stocks that we can choose from. Now, I want to minimize that list a bit because I simply cannot, I don't have the time to look through 7,000 stocks each and every day. So over here, we have the filter. I'm pushing this one and in here, you can see all sorts of different filters. Right now, I'm just uh, going through the, the three sub categories here. The descriptive, in here, we can be a bit more specific as to what kind of stock we're looking for. For instance, the market capitalization, meaning how much is the stock, uh, the company worth on the stock exchange. And right now, you can see it goes from below uh, 50 million and up to above uh, $200 billion. But let's say, for instance, that I only want stocks that are worth from 2 billion and up. The instance I say 2 billion and up, you can see down here, we only have just above 2,000 stocks now. So that minimized it quite a lot. Maybe if we can't find the exact amount we want, we can just uh, type it in here and we can see five billion dollars well that is a fair sized stock so um i'm going for that and we have just uh, below 1500 stocks now that we can choose from now one thing is the size of the company but maybe we want a, a certain uh, amount of volume in here uh, meaning how many stocks are bought and sold each and every day so I might say that the average daily volume over the last uh, 30 days should be something like, I don't know, half a million stocks. The instance we say that we only, quote unquote, have 887 stocks left. And we can put some more uh, details in here. It could be that now we, are, we have chosen the US market, but it could be that we only want um, from, for instance, the... Uh, New York Stock Exchange, ARCA here, NASDAQ. We don't want the OTC or the counter stocks. They're a bit smaller. So, but there, there were not many here of these. So 883 stocks are left. 
And we might want to say that uh, it is uh, from a specific index. It could be Dow Jones or uh, Nasdaq or whatever. But we will just stick to 883 matches right now. Now we now we can see we have six criteria. Uh, sorry, three criteria up here under the filters. But we want to put in more. We might want to choose from some fundamentals. It could be that, let's say, for instance, that we don't want a company with too much debt. So we want a debt to equity ratio um, at 1.5, meaning that uh, we only want the, the, the debt to be 50% of the entire uh, equity. And uh, you can see there are only 279 stocks that matches this. There could be something about uh, dividends and um, the dividends. I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna make a video more about dividends soon. But um, the dividend yield is how many percent we are getting out. Let's say a stock has cost us a hundred dollars, and uh, the company is paying out two dollars this year uh, in dividend uh, as a part of the the overall earnings. They're paying us uh, two dollars as stockholders. So we want the dividend yields to be, for instance, we can choose above and I want above, let's say, 2%. That is a fair value here. And you can see now we only have 74 matches and I can put a lot more in here. I can put uh, uh, earnings per share. I can put a uh, enterprise value. I can. There are a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, that I can put in and uh, there are hundreds and hundreds price to book uh, many people want that to be good. Um, I'm not gonna go into details with all of these fundamentals here, but m we might uh, want to have some technical analysis put into place as well. And uh, many people like, for instance, to see the price above uh, the moving average, the simple moving average. Oh, sorry, I just got a bit site track here uh, simple moving average um, I want the stock to be above the 200 day simple moving average uh, let me see it's asking for some value it shouldn't be necessary to put that in there um, anyway we still have the 74 stock uh, stocks here uh, we could put some rate of change telling us how many uh, percent has the uh, uh, the stock price moved the last uh, nine days, for instance. Um, we can we can be looking for gaps. We can be looking for uh, different patterns. If you want to have a, a, a sort of um, candlestick patterns here, the, those of you that are interested in that, you know what a gravestone doji and an inverted hammer is. Um, and um, that is the the, uh, the the patterns that you could be looking for. And there are there's pretty much everything you could need here, the MACD levels. And if you're not into technical analysis, this might sound like complete Russian or Chinese or whatever, but it is something that can be quite uh, nice to put in. Let's just say that we ended up with our 74 matches here. We have Johnson & Johnson, we have Exxon Mobil, we have Intel, Royal Dutch Shell. We have some of, of the stocks that are uh, pretty well known here. You can say, for instance, that you also want, if you're not too much into the technicals, you want uh, trading views own rating. And uh, here we can just uh, push this one. And you can see that now we have strong buys and buys. And uh, yeah, we have some neutrals and some sells. And you can uh, choose that you only want the strong buys and the buys, for instance, here. And um, if you have found out that that is a good filter now. Let me just get this one out again. We have this uh, building freedom test portfolio here. What you can do now is that you can save all of these stocks so that you can go through them one by one. If you want all of them into this folder, you can press the first one here and then on your keyboard, press control A, just as if you were to uh, to mark all of the text in a word document, for instance, then you can see all of these are marked but maybe you only wanted some of them. Then you can say, I want the, those from strong buy and down to buy. You then push the first one here, just mark that one. Then you scroll down until you meet the last buy stock here. Then you press shift 
and you press your left mouse button like this and you can see now they are all marked up here then you right click on your mouse and you say add select a symbol to what symbols to watch list I do that and all of a sudden over here I have all my stocks uh, put over into the watch list and now you can see I have some Danish stocks in here I might have just been looking at, at these but now I have my building freedom test portfolio and the second I push that one I get all the stocks up here and then I can start let me just see here I just get this one down and then I can start to go through all of the stocks one by one and see if they look interesting to me if it's something I want to buy uh, best buy here is that now we we should go into that and you can evaluate it from your own strategy or method or whatever you have tested but let me say this stock, this stock screen there are if you're really advanced there might be a few things here that you could be uh, that, that you think that the stock screen lacks but I think 99% of all just plain regular uh, analysts, stock investors, dividend investors, and so on, they will find enough in this screen to keep you occupied for the next very long time. And it is a, a tremendous time saver for me. Uh, I have several different screens. I have some for some swing trading, some for some uh, long-term uh, dividend investments and so on. And um, I use it all the time so it is as I've said before one of my favorite tools in my toolbox and again if you want to uh, use this tool for free just push the link below uh, I'm linking to it in, in the description and um, again if at some point you should choose a paid version I will get a little kickback from that but that'll be all for now. I will uh, be making some more videos about TradingView in the near future. There are so many details in here that uh, I think we'll have at least five or ten videos where I will put you uh, up to speed here on all the details in the software. Please, if you like this video and all the content on this channel, please remember to uh, subscribe, uh, hit the like button and the bell notification, hit, hit everything you can find just beneath the video. If you have questions, comments, anything, just comment in the comment section below. That's all for now. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.